Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a number of ways to troubleshoot and fix Bluetooth problems in Windows 11 and also Windows 10. Some typical signs of this problem include your Bluetooth icon not showing in the system tray or in device manager. It could also be that you have your Bluetooth icons in place, but you cannot send or receive files or even connect to other Bluetooth devices. Now, in the case of this laptop, when I go to search and type Bluetooth, there are two main matches. First is this Bluetooth and other devices. And when I click on that, and then here I click on add device, then select the first Bluetooth option. It immediately says couldn't connect. And that is because it cannot find a Bluetooth device. Now back to the search. The second match is this find and fix problems with Bluetooth devices. And when I click on that, it brings me to this page where it says troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems. Here I will click on next. It then tries to detect the problem. And afterwards it says Bluetooth is not available on this device. Now I'm assuming your laptop has some kind of Bluetooth module attached to it. Almost all laptops these days come with one. They are usually integrated to the Wi-Fi card modules. To verify if your Bluetooth is integrated to the Wi-Fi card module, simply go to search and type device manager. Open device manager from the search results. On the device manager, click on network adapters. Here on the network adapters, you should see your Wi-Fi card model. Here mine is Intel Dual Band Wireless AC 7260. Now I will go to Google and search Intel Dual Band Wireless AC 7260 specifications. And right here, we can see that this card has an integrated Bluetooth. In addition, most laptops also come with some kind of wireless switch or a button on the keyboard that can be used to toggle the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on and off. So before you get into any settings or configurations, you first want to check that your Bluetooth has not been disabled by the wireless button or switch on your laptop. You can find this switch somewhere around your laptop with a wireless symbol on it. It could also be on one of your function keys. So check and ensure that your wireless button is turned on. If after that you still can't find your Bluetooth or you still can't get your Bluetooth to work, the next step would be to check that your Bluetooth has not been disabled from the BIOS settings. To do that, you need to restart your laptop. Then upon restarting, use the required key to boot into your BIOS depending on your system model. Now in the BIOS, try to find your I.O. port access. Here mine is under the security tab. Yours might be in the advanced tab and could have some other names like miscellaneous devices. Here you need to ensure that the status of your Bluetooth device says enabled. Otherwise you can use the arrow keys and the enter key to set it to enabled. Remember to use the required function key to save changes before exiting. In the case of this Lenovo is the F10 key. So I will hit the F10 key and hit enter to complete the process. If you still can't get your Bluetooth working, then the next step would be to check that your Bluetooth is not turned off from the system settings. To do that, right click on your Windows start icon and select settings. On the left pane of the settings page, click on Bluetooth and devices. On this page, you should have your Bluetooth and other devices listed. Here, if you have your Bluetooth turned off, simply click on this switch to turn it back on. And if it was the cause of not being able to access your Bluetooth, then as soon as you flip the switch, you should have your Bluetooth icon appear on the system tray. And from there, you can add or connect to Bluetooth devices. If that still doesn't work for you, then the next fix would be to manually add your Bluetooth device to the device manager. To do that, simply right click on the start icon and select device manager. On the device manager, select your PC and then click on the actions tab. Here select add legacy hardware and then click on next. On this page, select install the hardware that I manually select from a list and hit next. On the page that follows, search for network adapters. Click on it and hit next. Here click on Microsoft. Now here you need to check if you have the Bluetooth device option on the right pane. If you don't, like in my case, just skip this step and move to the next one. 
if you do have bluetooth here simply select it and hit next then hit next again and wait for your bluetooth device to be installed if this was the cause of your bluetooth problems then afterwards you should have your bluetooth device listed under your network adapters and working properly again if that still doesn't work then the next thing would be to check your system services here you want to check that your bluetooth services or other related services have not been disabled by any means to do that go to search and type services click on the services app from the search results here in the services window search for services that have the word bluetooth included in them here i have this bluetooth audio gateway bluetooth support service and also this bluetooth user support service now you want to ensure that these services are up and running if any of them is turned off just double click on it here under startup type select automatic then apply and hit start to resume the service now in the case of this bluetooth user support service it does not allow for automatic startup so here for the purpose of this troubleshooting just hit start to start the service again if this was the cause of the problem then as soon as you start these services your bluetooth should be up and running again if at this point you still don't see your bluetooth then you might need to manually download and install the bluetooth drivers that correspond with your system specifications normally these drivers get downloaded and installed automatically during your initial update but for some reason some devices like this thing part w540 might not install the bluetooth drivers automatically during updates so i need to manually download and install these drivers to do that you need to visit your manufacturer support page to download the required and updated drivers in my case i will go to google and search drivers for lenovo thinkpad w540 and then open the link from pcsupport.lenovo here you will need to scroll and find where it says bluetooth and modem you will click to expand the options of course this will differ depending on your laptop brand and how the support page is organized for some manufacturers like hp you may need to select your operating system and platform whether 32 or 64 bits here i'll simply click on the download to begin the download and afterwards i've just run by double clicking and follow the installation instructions to complete the process And that is it for this tutorial. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.